And we're back. Uh, welcome to hour 14 of 24 Terrible Hours, an entire day with the F+. Uh, Jimmy Franks, you're, you're back with us. I am, but before we get into this, Boots, I do have a question, because a lot of people on the chat have been asking, and I, I'm also wondering, where did you get the fabulous music? Uh, oh, to in between episodes. Uh, it is an album uh, of the uh, production music from TV shows from the sixties and seventies, uh, whose name I do not remember. Yay! Okay. That that in the forums in the future. <laughs> yeah, it was. The, it's, it's the guy that did all the music for the uh, for the Spider-Man cartoon, which was awesome. Yeah, um, that explains a lot. Yeah, Great. no, it's, it's, uh, it was really fun stuff. Um, Yay, lens flare. <laughs> I love lens flare. What's what? Is, okay. um, and so, where did uh, you find my eleven-year-old journal? <laughs> I thought this was J.J. Abrams' eleven-year-old journal. <laughs> uh, so, so for this hour, we've got me, Boots Rangear. We've got Jimmy Franks. We've got Jack Chick. Hi. We got Zarla. Hi. And Stog. Hi. I and, had a nap. We got Portex on the. I, I just I really wanted to say we got Portex on the ones and twos, but that doesn't. <laughs> Vortex is controlling the beats. <laughs> Welcome to the morning. I love that crew. image. <laughs> um, and this doc is called uh, Things That Jimmy Franks Didn't Choose. Awesome. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> um, this is an idea I came up with as a joke when I did the second promo to the thing, and I realized it was actually a pretty good idea. Um, and so, uh, this, this doc was put together by a Mr. Boots Rain Gear, who is, uh, my favorite person in the world. <laughs> Boots Rain Gear is my favorite person in the world, well, too. Well, thanks, dog. <laughs> An unbiased fact. An unbiased fact. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, and let's just, uh, start No citation it. needed. Well, what do we read from the doc? Um, yeah. so... Uh, episode 124 of the F Plus podcast was titled, Well, Since You Asked. Uh, we were covering the Experience <laughs> Project. And Jimmy Franks, here <laughs> is something you didn't choose. This is your life. <laughs> Stog? Yes. Um, you're LSK. <laughs> and what do you oh. have to say? Oh. Oh. Well, my name is Alice Ka, and I hate my parents. <laughs> I'm no, really? a girl. Yeah, yeah. Can you believe it? Those parents no, that can't are be. So... They're so bad. They can't be. They're so bad. Why? The parents they are shut good. Up? <laughs> parents are fun and great, yeah, so right? No, up. I I clearly disagree. Anyway, <laughs> explain. I'm... I'm a girl of 16 years old. <laughs> <laughs> 16 times. I'm 16 years old, and I know my parents love my, but they don't really accept the way I am. They think that if I don't thick the way they thick, it's not normal. <laughs> hey girl, your parents be thick. <laughs> I'm not gay, but if I was, then I'm pretty sure they would send me to a psychologist. Because they think that being gay is a disease. Aw, honey. I do whatever they say. You know, like the sword. Yeah. <laughs> I would too if they were pointing little swords at me. <laughs> but they give too many orders at the same time. And if I tell them that I can't do them all at the same time, they get mad. And if I go out too long, they are mad and sigh the sword. Uh -oh. <laughs> My parents turn into a sword. That's that's mm -hmm. how this works. I am Swordkin. <laughs> Aaron Swordkin. Parents are a transformer. <laughs> Aaron Swordkin. Oh, yes, I am. Damn it. God damn it. <laughs> This fucking sword will not shut up. <laughs> he just walks down hallways. That's all he does. <laughs> now, I have to study, but I already did. <laughs> and, and I know that I'm not the smartest, but that doesn't mean I have to work 24-7. 
<laughs> I know this is not a long story, but... Mm, yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, that's a really good, compelling point. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Ipso yeah. facto to it. <laughs> yeah. I, I think I really understand because I am 16 too, and I also have same sort of problems at my place, but I can give you one advice that is at this period, <laughs> even when they hink way too much about us, more hen required. <laughs> So for some days, keep calm, do what they without speak on a word. As soon as I will understand, and one more thing you can do is if they are not so hyper, sit and talk to them about it. Turn Get cruel your... five. Turn cruel five. When your parents aren't so hyper. Sit them down and talk to them. <laughs> Goddamn parents having oh all these God. sugar rushes. Hey, hey, hey! You get over here. Oh <laughs> sit down. God. I fucking love Portax's sword kin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Swords just don't understand. Dad, I don't want to be a broadsword. <laughs> I want to be one of those like mall swords at the mall. Um. <laughs> I don't know if you remember this, uh, Jimmy Franks, but in uh, episode 131, Ask a Stupid Question, Make a Stupid Podcast, which was uh, Blurted.com, oh, uh, you did Blurted. not pick, can I take any medicine to increase my penny size? Medicine with no side effect. <laughs> I didn't? Oh, wow. It, it, just, it's, uh, it feels so familiar. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, you, you took something that was almost identical to that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Zala, can you be the first anonymous reply? <laughs> All right. My name is Sadiq. My pennies is small. What could I do? Any medicine for taking, making them uh, for my pennies as big or large? <laughs> How do I get huge pennies? I need bigger pennies, like the one Batman has. <laughs> I tried flattening them, but it didn't work. Increasing. Not enough. <laughs> Increasing the penis is demand of a lot of person, and company knows that and makes something and does advertisement that it does make the penis big. But no scientific medicine we have for doing that, and those medicine and other ways they say are not useful. <laughs> uh, I'm also anonymous. There are a lot of products out there that claim to increase the size of your unit, but read <laughs> consumer comments and ratings when looking for a good product. Yohimbe is, is a tree bark that has been used for hundreds of years that is said to do just this. So when you're looking for a natural product, make sure it has Yohimbe. There's, here's more about Yohimbe. Where's Four the trademark out of five doctors recommend Yohimbe when increasing your penny size. Yo, Himbe! Go eat a tree. Just, just go do it. <laughs> Yeah. Um, Just cram that fucking thing down your throat. Also make your cum a lot goopier. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not Dick speaking of that anymore. Why don't you want to call it loopy cum? Oh my god, poor guy. It never <laughs> happened. If you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Jimmy Franks in episode 142, Indiegogo away from Indiegogo, uh, you did oh, not yeah. choose fucking products, uh, <laughs> but now is your chance. Would you like to choose <laughs> this or have I no would. other option at all? Because <laughs> the other one's already been taken. We are <laughs> fucking products. We're 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 doing the uh, the, the zero escape uh, alternate timelines to, uh, to to finish off the real true. <laughs> The and morphogenetic horrors. Yeah. We're trying yeah, to get 100% on to, to close D. the time loop. <laughs> <laughs> We're More than one of us got that joke. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, <okay. laughs> I'm just really impressed. Okay. Fucking products. <laughs> I'll make a new line of fucking products. <laughs> fucking hand soap. Fucking shampoo and fucking toothpaste. <laughs> I'm sold. Fucking toothpaste. <laughs> I'm sold. Not raised. $162 raised a $10,000 goal. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking <laughs> money. <Love the> project. <laughs> Back then, sometimes we, we all just want a little bit of truth and simplicity in our products. I can't stand the fancy labels and self-congratulating names of the products I see on the store shelves. Seriously bugs the shit out of me. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Tide. Fuck you. <laughs> 
Plus, I like to curse a lot. <laughs> I had a teacher in high school, ninth grade English, Mr. Boothby, who let us curse in class under one provision. We had to really mean the curse. If we cursed just to curse, he'd scold us. But if Don't we you know, said... like the titles of the products? Where <laughs> it really means it. But if we said, I just really don't understand what the fuck Shakespeare was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't blink an eye. <laughs> I always loved that. It's safe to say cursing has always been a big part of my life, but I always make sure I mean it when I curse. Thanks, Mr. Boothby, for that important distinction. <laughs> this is Academy Award speech. <laughs> Mr. Boothby's opus. Mr. Boothby's <laughs> <third> opus. <laughs> the concept. Where am I going with this? Well, I want to combine these two ideas into a new line of products called fucking products. I'll start with just three products. Fucking shampoo, fucking hand soap, fucking toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's winning me over. I gotta say, like... <laughs> I, I'm sold, I'm sold. Yeah. Tell me yeah. more. Fucking shampoo. <laughs> How many you into be... my hair? <laughs> fucking hair. <laughs> the packaging will be pure white or clear bottles with nothing else on the label besides the mandated ingredient details. <laughs> the directions will be the to the point as well. Full of curse words. Here's the one I wrote for the fucking shampoo. <laughs> <laughs> directions. Wet your fucking hair. Lather that shit up and rinse with plenty of fucking water. Repeat as necessary, motherfucker. Hey, <laughs> Mr. Boothby wouldn't approve of that. <laughs> See? Just, wouldn't you rather read that every day than your hoity-toity grocery store products? If every day I got in the shower and saw some fucking shampoo there on the shelf, I would crack up. Every time I put fucking toothpaste on my fucking toothbrush, I'd crack up. <laughs> Hell, it even make me want to brush my teeth three or more, four, three or four more times per day. Just so I can use a product that goes against the norm and brings a smile to my face. Shit. We may even be able to cure gingivitis and cavities forever if everyone bought fucking toothpaste, don't you think? Hey, uh, Jack Chick, you want to tell us about the perks? The fucking Next perks. Case. <laughs> Yeah. It's compelling. Uh, yeah, I'd love to tell you about the perks here. So you got uh, the two USD. You got uh, you cheap fuck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you cheap fuck! I will send you. I will send you a personal email stating the following in the subject line. Thanks for your support of my fucking product, you cheap fuck. I don't take the you cheap fuck personally. I just like to curse, as I mentioned. And I really do appreciate any and all support. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the next line up is twenty twenty dollars. I support Mr. Boothby. I'll send you a black T-shirt in your size that says the following: Mr. Boothby said I can curse as long as I really fucking mean it. Twenty five <laughs> forty like... ounces of fucking shampoo for Mrs. Mr. Boothby right now. <laughs> He's just fist pumping. Crossroads. I don't know why. Twenty five. Yes, finally, my dream can come true. Twenty five dollars American. Brush my fucking teeth. I'll send you one tube of fucking toothpaste, approximately 12 ounces. <laughs> 30 USD. Wash my fucking hands. I'll send you one bottle of fucking hand soap. $35. Wash my fucking hand. I'll send you one bottle of fucking shampoo. $100. I am a dirty bastard. I'll send you a black guy that says the following Mr. Boothby said I can curse as long as I really fucking mean it. One tube of fucking toothpaste, one bottle of fucking hand soap. And one bottle of fucking shampoo. Approximately eight ounces. Now go wash yourself, you dirty bastard. Hey, I'm washing up here! Hundred and eighty dollars. Dirty double down. I'll send you two black t-shirts in your choice in your sizes of choice that says the following. Mr. Boothby said I can curse as long as I really fucking mean it. Two tubes of toothpaste. Wait, sorry. Two tubes of fucking toothpaste. There two we go. Two tubes of fucking hand soap. And two bottles of fucking shampoo. <laughs> I don't understand why uh, women don't ever want to go on a second date with me. They, like, come over to my place, they use my bathroom, and then I never see them again. Ah, fucking women. <laughs> 
I mean, you know, Mr. Boofy never had trouble getting chicks. I don't understand why I got this problem. <laughs> All right, we're going we're gonna to jump forward a couple weeks in time to uh, episode 144, Knowledge is a Disease, I Have the Cure. That was uh, ehealthforum.com. Oh, and uh, wow. I'll oh, guess Jimmy I'll pick? take this one. Uh, Jimmy Franks did not choose the effects of excessive masturbation by 9 11 awesome. Boy. I know that all too well. I didn't need to read about it. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, Finally. I'm 9 11 Boy. Uh. Um, I'm 17 years old. I used to masturbate too much when I was about 13, 14, 15 years old. I am now suffering effects of over masturbation like hair fall. Body age, weakness, <laughs> bone loss, etc. Bone loss? Bone loss. He's aged prematurely by 50 years. Yeah. Sure, you didn't mean to write boner loss? <laughs> bone loss. I'll talk, I have stopped it since last two years. I get wet dreams and I lose semen, which is worsening my situation. <laughs> come back, come back. I have a semen leak. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh, is there any drug which can stop wet dreams or replace the vital minerals or vitamins lost recently? I have started to lose calcium from my teeth too. <laughs> they have become transparent at the borders it's definitely not due to acid erosion since I was not taking acidic food or drinks since last two years even though dentist was surprised he told me that the erosion was due to some deficiency I'm sure the main cause is my problem of all my problems is that I'm losing something vital the more I lose semen <laughs> my physician yeah. says it's normal, but in my case, it's definitely not normal, as I already lost too much semen at a young age. <laughs> <laughs> we can never get that food? back. I don't have to buy that. You can never you know, get that some... semen back once you jerk it off into the toilet or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I think that the doctors are not yet aware of the effects of over-masturbation. But it's true. Masturbation uh, is safe, but too much has I... devastating effects. I. <laughs> what, what's what? that? I, mm, mm, yeah, no, okay. Okay. Nope, nope, I'll, I'll keep going. It also caused my legs to bow at the age of 15, which makes For me. For a second, I thought that said blow off. <laughs> <laughs> Pew! <laughs> it's the semen that holds the legs together. Exactly. <laughs> That's how he lost the bones. <laughs> <laughs> which makes uh, which makes me sure that losing semen is the main problem is <laughs> whenever I get a wet dream the next day my bones start aching then after a few days the aching lessens then after I get another wet dream the aching starts again even my teeth start aching very badly after I lose semen I got Arr. hair fall problems since last two years and now I am so depressed that I'm thinking of committing suicide hmm. as there is no medicine invented yet to cure effects of over masturbation <laughs> <laughs> the balding 17 year old <laughs> please help me is there anything that will replace what vital things I have lost through over masturbation please help I feel hopeless I just can't concentrate on my studies I'm failing in many uh -huh. subjects I was a good student before all my friends are surprised another great problem is that doctors are not ready to accept what I am saying please think <laughs> about it thank you I keep telling me to eat food or something. I mean, well, so if he thinks that he's losing all of his nutrients because he's losing his semen, wouldn't it follow that if somebody jizzed into him, he'd gain all that back? Oh. Yeah, hey. Oh. You found a solution. Some sort of cum transference. <laughs> or some, like, maybe like a human centipede situation, but... <laughs> like mouth <laughs> never mind. It's it's like... I <laughs> Well, I recommend that this kid stop jacking off with uranium. <laughs> <laughs> that can't be it. It's just the jacking off. So uh episode one forty nine, Jimmy Franks did not choose uh sorry, this is uh, hipforums.com. Uh, Jimmy Franks did <laughs> not one. choose civil rights and severe pain. Must read, but Stodd will have it for us. <laughs> okay. <I> must read. <laughs> Civil rights and severe pain must read B-189. The U.S. government and the police department 
departments of this country are now installing devices into your body to create severe pain. <laughs> the excruciator! Are... It's a joke for no one, sorry. Okay. Is that a they are... right? <laughs> no, it's a star control too. Oh, but... right, yes. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, hey! I love that Maybe. Game. Yes! <laughs> they are installing devices into your head, mouth, Shoulder, penis, vagina. Once those vice devices are installed, you automatically black out at night. Then they proceed to enter your home and install more of this crap into your body. They want to hear every conversation you're having and control every aspect of your life and all in effort to line their pockets with money with disregard to your life and your family's life. So wait, how... <laughs> What's the profit uh, <laughs> source <laughs> for putting all this shit into your body? They call it sleep, but don't be fooled. What do you, what is it like Bitcoin what mining? Yeah, what, do you, what, do you, what do you mean, Boots? Like, what, isn't the profit self-evident? <laughs> they they human spend service, right? millions of dollars to insert a bunch of stuff into some redneck, and then... <laughs> like, what? I don't see how that works. They just play the Sims with them. <laughs> I'm like a cyborg, but it, it, if I don't, I'm like a cyborg farmer. But every time I think about smoking weed, the police just, you know, shock my balls. <laughs> they send me a bill. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Help stop this atrocity by spreading the word to as many people as possible. Help stop the rape of you and your family by spreading the word and giving this message to as many people as possible. Beware, the police and government are now having undercover drug, undercover friends drug you, put you to sleep, and install tiny microphones into your mouth and skull. So, um, are those friends also getting tiny microphones installed into their mouths and skulls? They're so already who's, converted. So whose job is it to listen to all of this audio? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, they're just this is they're just uh they're just uh, they're just hiring people away from call centers these days to do this job. <laughs> now, I know that you're busy listening to the uh, tooth audio of uh, several <laughs> citizens, but we'd never do that to you. <laughs> 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 Side effects may include severe pain, accidents that were not your fault. <laughs> what? <laughs> when you go to sleep, you black out, and the government and police break into your home and rape you and install more of these chips into your body. I mean, one part of that need. sentence is true. <laughs> <laughs> Does work like the first part. <laughs> you do black out. <laughs> Usually. <laughs> government government mind control force sleep to black out people and waste their time. <laughs> Spread the word. Don't let new friends sleep over. Tell all your friends it's only a matter of time before it affects you. So, so Stug, I thought it was already doing it. What are, uh, what are the, some of the signs that this has happened to you? <clears throat> I've got lots of those signs. Okay. <laughs> signs this has happened to you. One, severe tooth pain. Oh, that, that, yeah. that, that could help the previous guy then. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yep. They're connected. Two, your anus was loose when you woke up. Check. Two for two. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Three, your girlfriend's vagina has some kind of bump in it. Huh. Okay, you don't have so, a girlfriend. Yeah, no, so they install stuff into you, and then your girlfriend's vagina has a bump in it. Yeah. Yep. Okay, go cool. just make sure I'm logically following this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are. You're, you're, Vagina's you're, you're, you're on the famous right for not having any bumps. Yeah, they're very <laughs> <Yeah>. Four, <laughs> unexplained unexplainable pain randomly throughout the day <laughs> five stomach pain can't crap anal pain <laughs> six severe me grande <laughs> <laughs> right. i love that show <laughs> severe me grande tonight on univision <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Number seven. Burns on your body, white stains on your skin. <laughs> mm. So, um, let's just get another list through. <laughs> this. Yes. It's done. What are some yes. things to do to annoy the police and government that are listening to you through unauthorized taps into your body? This helps kill some of these in your body and flush them out. So you this, mean this, like these, these preventative and uh, curative measures for the, the things that the government has done to you? Yeah, the things that are you in un you authorized. Uh, you authorized. Uno authorized. Yeah. <laughs> Number one, make making slurping sounds with your mouth. Just <laughs> never stop making slurping sounds. Never stop slurping. <laughs> You've been doing that. Hashtag never stop slurping. Hashtag Slurp never stop slurping. Yeah. <laughs> slurping every day. Dope sounds every day. <laughs> Step Done. two. Try to stay up for over 48 hours without going to sleep. Try to take a lot of craps. Done. <laughs> that's, an that's another thing that I think that Boots has done a pretty good job of so far. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We've all done that. Okay. <laughs> Move on. Okay. Number three, monster energy drink. Oh shit, I'm I'm really <laughs> killing it. <laughs> three for three so far. I'm uh I'm feeling a little gross after one of those right now, so yeah. <laughs> I downed a whole monster energy ultra sunrise. Yeah. Did it taste like baby aspirin and diabetes? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's sugar free, so it, oh. it tasted oh, like wow. low calorie diabetes. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Number four, <laughs> avoid eating out. Try cooking at home. <laughs> Number five, avoid shady doctors and clinics. That's good advice Hi, everybody. <laughs> Check your shady doctor list directory. Boots, have you been the, avoiding shady doctors? <laughs> the B stands for bargain. <laughs> <laughs> Number six, lots of bread and crapping. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, we've never figured out a solution to defecation. <laughs> Number seven, after meals, use a plastic toothpick to clean your teeth. What about a wooden toothpick? Unacceptable. Unacceptable. <laughs> Unacceptable. Oh they got to Zara. <laughs> Unacceptable. Oh, yeah. Error. Error. NTOS. Colonel. Shut the stream DLL. down. Kill delete. Kill delete. <laughs> Segmentation fault. Uh, oh, uh. <laughs> Out of handles. No point or exception. Number eight. Boiling hot showers. <laughs> Literally boil yourself in the fucking shower. Great. Number nine. Only eat canned food. <laughs> no. Number 10, invest in security cameras for your home. All I eat is Chef Boyardee ravioli, and I'm not sure why I'm having trouble crapping. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's, let's skip forward to number 13. Are you sure? Number 11's really good. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Actually, yeah. you're right. Sorry. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Apologies. Number 11. <laughs> number 11, sit out in the sun, tan your skin until black or burnt. <laughs> <laughs> That's how that works. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> number 14, as a last resort, if problems persist, find the point of pain on skin and cut a V-shape on the spot where pain is coming from. Please use this as a last resort. Yeah. Why? Is it like to point it out to the government people when they come to put more chips in you? <laughs> like, take this one back, please. Yeah. Um, so that was that was helpful. Thanks, Doug. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Whatever that character is. <laughs> you have a name for that stuff? Uh, I don't know. Um, Reginald the uh, Reginald the can't crap dude who takes who <laughs> takes a who takes probably takes drugs. That's that's Cassie. <laughs> Yeah, this rolls off the tongue. Reginald the cat crap dude. That's that's our that's probably our next shirt design, I think. Awesome. <laughs> um, is our love? 
Yes. In uh, episode 154, Jimmy Franks did not choose uh, for witchyhow.com, the paganlore.com episode, uh, did not choose the eye color spell. Will uh, you give us the eye color spell? Yes. Well, finally, make your dreams come true. <laughs> the eye color spell. This is all in caps. To change your eye color, get a pink candle and a flower. Say, this is to touch, touch the flower. Say, this is to feel, feel the flame of the candle. Put your hands over your eyes and say, this is to be shape and change it for all to see by the power of three times three. Let it be. Envision the color you want. And then I died, I assume. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. That's where it ends. <laughs> That's it. Great. So it worked, of course. <laughs> My eye color is the right color. Goodbye. My eyes are different. Yes. Um, Definitely. So, uh, <laughs> so, Jimmy Franks, yeah, you're, you're gonna want to uh, sort of pick and choose bits of this because it's a bit long. Really? You want me to make a choice? Uh, oh God, we're going down sort there. Sort of like a choice. <laughs> Um, oh boy! Oh, so uh, episode one fifty six was automoronic mm -hmm. asphyxiation. Exhaustsmokelovers dot com. Um, oh, the car fucking episode. Um, yeah, the car fucking episode. Mm -hmm. We all remember that fondly. Um, <laughs> Never fucked a car hot. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a, a separate post from the same uh, Prius lover that you read. <laughs> that <episode. laughs> so Your old friend is back. <laughs> yeah. It's been so long. Right. Uh, okay. Feel free to, to um, skip forward in parts because it is a, uh, yeah. a long post. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we've got time, but yeah, if it starts getting tedious, you can... Uh... <laughs> Here we go. Exhaust Can Something I Love by uh, GMB1. Mm -hmm. I now own a Prius. Surprisingly, I really enjoy it a lot. It certainly doesn't put out that much exhaust, but there's something about my car that's really growing on me. I just love it. It has a really nice turned down tailpipe and big muffler right by it. For me, these are some of the hottest tailpipes ever. <laughs> I, just, I, just, I just love laying underneath it and feeling the exhaust puffing out on my cock face or wherever. <laughs> yeah, I, I think the fact that it's smaller and weaker makes it more personal. Yeah, I can really. Guys, I can really dominate this car and do whatever I want with the exhaust. <laughs> I'm just picturing the car backing up over him. <laughs> no. Dump, dump. <laughs> now, I'm a bit more fearless than I was the last car I had. I used to be afraid of even starting it up for fear that uh, something would go wrong. My, my finish for exhaust has often led me to bad luck and unhappy situations, so... Yeah, it's a bit of an it's a bit of an unattainable love you thing. Don't yeah. say. <laughs> now, I still don't know if I've ever had a situation where I could truly make love to my car without feeling inhibition, fear that I'd be caught, fear of losing consciousness from carbon monoxide poisoning, fear of my neighbors spotting me in the garage and calling the cops. You know, I get a bit paranoid, and so it, it's hard for me to really go for it when I'm actually in the moment with my car. More often than not, I end up jerking off in bed thinking about it. Uh, this could be a good thing in that I don't actually inhale all that much exhaust in the long run, but damn, it gets annoying jerking off all the time and never actually having that amazing experience I want to have fucking my car's tailpipe all the way, coming inside it, and not being afraid that someone might show up and catch me in the garage doing this strange shit. I mean, our protective services. So, so like, CPS. He has a garage, right? <laughs> Like, does he have a backyard? Could he put the car? Yeah, up it's like a carport, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh me, I keep my car in the pool. <laughs> keep my car tied up on back. I still haven't figured out how to get it out yet. <laughs> you know, I often feel weird afterwards. Sometimes shameful or depressed about why my sexual passions get the better of me and ruin my discipline during the day. But hey, this would be the case even if it were a human, considering how little sex I actually have. <laughs> I'm working on accepting it as part of how I am, this fetish of mine, rather than fighting the losing battle of pretending I'm over it and trying to erase it. It's been ingrained in me from an early age. I remember masturbating to exhaust even when I was like 
four or five because I figured out how to masturbate by humping my better pillow. <laughs> oh, I had no God. idea what I was doing at the time. <laughs> uh, uh, Jimmy Franks? Um, yeah. The chat is suggesting that this is probably uh, from somebody who is British. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'll, you, uh, all right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but I remember often thinking of cars and tailpipes <laughs> pumping out steaming clouds of exhaust even when I was that young. <laughs> anyway, oh, getting back to oh, my prayers, <laughs> I'm definitely developing a real attachment to it. I love fucking its exhaust. It's very personal. It's very cute in a way. My cock fits inside it very nicely and I just love the shape of it. <laughs> Are you happy now? <laughs> Interestingly, the fact that it's supposedly so eco-friendly and clean is part of what makes it horny for me. I love flooring a gas pedal to get the engine running around 2,500 RPMs, I guess. That's all it goes up to when you're Everton Park. I'm looking in back to see the steam clouds that are blowing out the tailpipe. And I go back, jerk off, when the water drips out of the tailpipe under my body. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention, I love the condensation coming out the exhaust. Such a huge turn on for me. I love to see kids revving their cars to see the water blowing out the pipe. Anyway, Prius is fun too, because it starts up by itself. I often turn it on and start humping the tailpipe. When the engine suddenly comes to life, oh, that's an amazing moment, and the exhaust starts to flow. A lot of consistency of idling. I think it was the Rivet man who described it as the car steamy breath. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I love that expression. I love feeling the exhaust coming out really moist and warm. Uh. It's so sexy to see the steam clouds rising up there. Hear the sound of the purring engine and how the exhaust just keeps coming. <laughs> Good lord. This guy's very concerned about the environment, yet he's just leaving his car running in park for hours. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. Well, I'm having fun with the tailpipe. I often feel very peaceful and serene. <laughs> I suppose it's the effects of CO or whatever else, but it's not just that, because I, I really spend enough time under the exhaust to experience these side effects. I'm too afraid, since I always do it solo and I always do it in a garage. I live near a city, so it's hard to find a private place to enjoy exhaust. <laughs> yeah. Like in a garage. I think uh. I genuinely do feel uh, really at peace when I'm with my car in these moments. Just writing about it makes me excited about the next chance I get with my car. <laughs> uh, and then there's oh a my lot god. More stuff here. Now let's let's get uh, into the nitty gritty. Yeah. I, I, I think I got it here. Yep, yeah, that's, <laughs> yep, that's the one. Yep. To get my cock to really fit in the tailpipe all the way, I Oh, have here we it. go! <laughs> I lay down and move myself, head first, underneath the car. <laughs> so my head is usually right below the front part of the muffler, and then my cock can slide right into the tailpipe as it blows out the waste gases. Oh, God. Oh. It is really hot to be laying right underneath <laughs> and staring up at the live exhaust system at work while getting a blowjob from the exhaust. <laughs> no, that's not how blowjobs work. <laughs> I especially love how the condensation in the warm up exhaust acts as a lubricant for my dick. <laughs> When I take it out, it's all wet. It feels so amazing. All right, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, wait, there's more. Okay, okay, well, sorry. I, I thought, well, thought you might have been done there. <laughs> well, it's just, you know, uh, uh, I just wish I could meet someone who shared this fetish of mine. We could have such amazing times. Like what? Like they would just sit and watch you do it? Or something? <laughs> there's not really room for somebody else to join well, you. Someone Someone could rev the car for me. <laughs> <laughs> Nick and his back's up over him. It takes two another, to fuck this machine. <laughs> look, uh, you know, another thing I, I love to do is to wake up in the morning, go down to the garage first thing, no, and no, let no, the exhaust done. massage my car. <laughs> <laughs> Get your Prius out of here. <laughs> you fucking car pervert limey. <laughs> I love it has a perv standby of be open minded. <laughs> like like just try having a fetish. You know, it might be fun. Get your, get your penis what? and your black dick out of here. <laughs> and I, and I, mean, I mean blackened, I should say. 
<laughs> Why doesn't everyone just get under their car and try to fuck the muffler? Why don't you? Um, <laughs> hey, Come on, just try it. Hey, uh, just try it. Chick, Hi. If we go to the end of this document, you'll see uh, from episode 172, Untidy Whiteys, the wedgiehaven.com episode. Uh, uh, Jimmy yeah. Franks did not pick a Final Fantasy VII fanfic called A Vampire's <laughs> oh, Pass. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 oh. Is the bot? Okay, it's working. <laughs> okay, this is, a, this is the clip I want to play. Doesn't work. Okay, Here, let me help you. Blah. <laughs> it was, it was Glenn, Glenn Beck saying, "Okay, let's talk about vampires." Right. Oh. Um, vampires. So, so Jack Chick, uh, mm -hmm. give us a, a sample of the story. Yeah, so um, uh, this is chapter two. It's time to tell the truth. This is from Vincent's POV. <laughs> I got out of bed and turned to my door to go and tell my friends the truth. That was when I realized two things. One, I had no idea what to say. And two, I was only... Two, I was only a pair of boxer shorts. That was <laughs> <laughs> part of the game. Yeah, when Vincent... Uh, he gets out of bed and he's only and he's you know turned into boxer shorts. Oh, come on, choose your own change doesn't happen until later tonight. <laughs> I morning. went over. To, I went over. I went over to my wardrobe and got out my usual attire: black pants, <laughs> red shirt, and a pair of white briefs. I wore them but, because the boxers, the boxers were too loose, and the boxer briefs bring back memories of high school. <laughs> <laughs> Not that what anyone would care, they go under my clothing. After getting changed, I went downstairs to see all my friends conversing. <laughs> Hello, I stated to the group. Hey, Vinny, the way too annoying Yuffie said to, stated to me. <laughs> I thought I told you not to call me that, I stated. She just rolled her eyes and went back to the conversation. <laughs> Whatever, you fucking pair of boxy shorts. <laughs> so, Vincent, what are you doing here? My good friend Cloud asked. <laughs> I'm here to I'm here to tell the truth about why I hate ho, 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 Hojo? Hojo? Hojo. Hojo. Sure. <laughs> yeah, no, sure, whatever. Uh, <laughs> uh, somebody says, we know he experimented on you. <laughs> I have a different reason why. It started in high school. He not only <laughs> stole my girlfriend, he was also the bully and I was the nerd. <laughs> that is why I went back to get... That is why I went to get back at him and also his accomplice, Sephiroth. <laughs> Just as I finished telling my story, I noticed the confused look on my friends' faces. <laughs> I think that Vincent would be mad at Hojo because he was a bully, the bar hostess stated. <laughs> Do you want another point? <laughs> uh, well, hang on. Hang on. So now this is from Yuffie's POV. Oh, shit. I went behind Vincent with my amazing Nina skills and carefully undid his guns holster. 99. <laughs> just no I, love, I, love, I love that show, American Nina Warrior. <laughs> <laughs> After that, I pulled down on his pants. Back to you, back to Vincent's POV. <laughs> I noticed three things. One, my friends looked at me for a moment and started laughing. Two, Yuffie was nowhere to be seen. And three, I couldn't feel the weight of my gun on my hip. As I tried to walk away, I noted a fourth thing, as in Sally Forth. <laughs> That's an obscure reference. I, I couldn't without tripping. I had been pants. <laughs> most likely laughing at my underwear preference. Yuffie was most likely who pants me. She had figured the holster doubled as a belt and I tripped over my pants. This also reminded me of high school. <laughs> so, so basically Vincent said, I tried to kill this guy because he bullied me. And then Yuffie was like, this sounds like a really good time to pants him. Yeah. Like, what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is like a Final Fantasy flavored uh, drill tweet. <laughs> so, so, do you guys like flashbacks? Because we're flashing yeah. back to high school years. 
Yay! <laughs> I was standing and talking to some people. I refused to call <laughs> friends when, when they burst out laughing. I also heard a voice from behind me stating, I can't believe that Valentine wears neon green boxer briefs. <laughs> After that, I pulled my pants back up and left the area to go sit alone, away from people who found underwear funny. And Impossible. flashback. As I left the seventh hev haven, seventh heaven, uh, and haven, I, guess. haven. Uh, I, w I was furious that my friends thought it was funny to wear braves. A few <laughs> minutes after I got to my house, there was a knock on my door. I opened it expecting Yuffie or one of the others to give me a half good apology. I was extremely mistaken. <laughs> <laughs> and then it just ends. Yeah, and that's it. <laughs> we'll that's never it that know. Story. Um, cool. <laughs> Um, I'm just going to read a, a, a quick, couple quick sections from uh, Oh my god From episode oh god. 166 Saturday Saturday is alright for chicken fighting The ultimate shoulder rides dot com uh, Lift and carry oh. fetish people uh, Boots real quick Have yeah. you looked at what uh, Portex has drawn For the last one? Yeah 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 Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's really yeah. Good. yeah. So Everybody appreciate that for a second <laughs> mm. <laughs> this is the sound of Zarla excitedly typing. <laughs> <laughs> I have to tell people about this. I know, is that, just, is a... that your clickety clackety 1940s typewriter? <laughs> yes. <laughs> a... Look it up with a fiberglass wire. It's a, it's a st stenographer's machine. <laughs> this is all being entered into evidence. Uh, for, uh, oh, no, it's not. Certainly no, it's coming not. later. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Okay, this is called Stacking. How I Discovered Shoulder Riding by Stacking International. <laughs> oh, no. 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 Incorporated. Cool. And we have agreed that uh, Britain has the world's greatest pervert, so I think you should read this in an accent as well. All right! <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not doing that. That's, it's going to hurt me too much. All right! <laughs> Oh, I can't, this is this is gonna this is gonna turn into like a stog accent by by like the fourth word. <laughs> it was by all means a mundane day. <laughs> and air possibly a bit more damp than I would consider pleasant. And the clouds painted perhaps a bit too. No, it's getting, yeah, it just gets. Oh, your drawl comes hey, in. Hey, welcome to Texas. <laughs> a bit too thickly against the blue autumn sky. <laughs> I thought well, it was certainly good. not an unusual Australia now an unusual day by any description. <laughs> when I discovered what I initially, out of ignorance and not knowing that such communities, the Forest Gump, already existed <laughs> under a proper name called stacking, <laughs> I wondered okay. how many people we could stock on each other's shoulders. <laughs> I proposed a few of my friends. <laughs> I can't do accents at all. Uh, <laughs> As we walked out of our high school lawn, unprompted by nothing more than a wandering conscious. <laughs> I made it, boy. <laughs> we ripped a messy stack of three right there on the open terrain. <laughs> I have to stop. Before tumbling miserably to the ground, exhilarated, with haste what? only called for in the case of such an epiphany, we made our way back to the school building, starting then, and for weeks forth, we stacked against all sorts of surfaces, walls, poles, trees, and fences, achieving stacks of up to five people. Whoa. Oh <laughs> my god. Written by a Zoom Zoom. <laughs> it's another joke for no one. And then, and then we put a giant overcoat on and <laughs> snuck into a bar. <laughs> <laughs> To a very tall bar. <laughs> I'm the centipede man. Give me all your beer. Yes, Zuzu. Snuck into the Sistine Chapel. <laughs> <laughs> As of now, I call shoulder riding nothing short of an addiction. I do it at every given opportunity. When with an able-bodied crew, my preferred team and I have been doing public displays of speedy stacks all over town to raise awareness about this awesome activity and lighten up people's days with the joy of laughter and amazement. This is literally the worst sequel to Break Into I've ever heard of. <laughs> Break into three, Stacking International. Yeah. The gift to everyone. 
Please support us on Facebook. Help us help you make stacking shoulder riding, sitting on each other's head sing. <laughs> oh, sitting on each other's head sing. <laughs> Whatever. A sweeping global phenomenon. And continue riding, my friends. This is truly a thing of beauty. SM. <laughs> All right, so Jimmy Franks, uh, this is a question for you specifically. <laughs> yeah. Uh, You're so what cute. do you think you learned this hour? Well, I've learned that when Lemon wants to play a game of giving you a choice, the only way to win is not to play. <laughs> <laughs> That's good enough. Yeah. All right, we're gonna we're gonna take a uh, another short break. Um, we're gonna say farewell to Jack Chick. We are. Bye, Jack Chick. Uh, but 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 don't worry, we're gonna bring in Nutshell. Yay, and, uh, Nutshell! And Partax, you're up for sticking around for another hour. <laughs> awesome, that's yes. Okay. Yep. Uh, yeah. Uh, farewell Yay. for now. <laughs> farewell. Bye.